Jamat Karsandu reporting for Sony Sports Network in India here in Louisville, Kentucky, standing alongside one half of the co-main event, Dominic Reyes, who takes on Dustin Jacoby. And uh, first of all, Dom, it's been a while yeah. uh, since we last saw you compete in the UFC. Uh, could you just kind of catch us up, you know, what it's been like for the last 18 months to two years for you, kind of physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally? Uh, last two month, mo- uh, two years really for me have been a big re- rebuilding process, getting back to who I am. Um, reconnecting with my faith, reconnecting with who I am as a fighter. Um, kind of been working in the dark, just grinding and grinding and grinding behind the scenes, just getting better at my craft, fixing, not just fixing, but like just getting back to me. Mm. And uh, it's been tough. I've had uh, multiple surgeries. <laughs> yeah. I've had blood clots along the way. It's been, uh, it's been quite the journey, but I'm so blessed to be here today. Was there a, a pivotal moment where you felt like you finally turned a corner over this last kind of couple of years? Yeah, I think it was uh, last November. It was when everything started clicking and I was all of a sudden my striking, everything made sense and I could see everything coming. All of a sudden my grappling was effortless and I wasn't wasting energy grappling and I was getting submissions easily and I was tapping out black belts that have never even come close to submitting before and everything just started clicking and lining up my experience and my skill set finally caught up and uh, ready to rumble, man. Yeah. It feels like the division's you know, constantly fl- flowing and changing. Mm-hmm. What do you make of the actual division right now from the champion all the way down to that top 10? I think my division, our division is uh, extremely underrated right now. I think everybody kind of overlooks the light heavyweight division, forgetting how dangerous it is, forgetting how fast and powerful we are. Everybody in the division is two fights away from the title shot whether you're number 15, number 12, whatever number you are, I feel like two good performances from literally anyone in the division and you could be fighting for the title. That's kind of how the division works. And on the same note, it's one punch away. You know, you've made the walk for the UFC a bunch of times at this point. Mm -hmm. You've been in high profile fights. Mm -hmm. I'm here for Sony Sports Network in India. And this weekend, the very first female Indian fighter Mm -hmm. in UFC history will be making her debut. Um, So it's a a big story back for that market. Yeah. Yeah. And I was kind of just wondering if you could give any advice to Pooja as she kind of gets ready to make that walk. And it's the first fight on the card as well for her. Uh, What advice would you give her? Uh, The only advice I would give her is enjoy every moment every second enjoy the interviews enjoy the wake cut enjoy fight week when the music comes on just get in your moment and make it yours and for you you know how do you envision this fight playing out when you kind of close your eyes how do you defeat Justin Jacoby um I don't know how I'm going to beat him um I bet I'm going to have my hand raised at the end I'm going to in my mind I'm going to beat him in every aspect of the game um and in the end, I'm going to have my hand raised and we're back in the win column and I'm working my way back up to the title. It's good to see you back, Dom. Thank you. Best man. of luck, man. Thank you so much.